what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and the Watch Dogs Legion 5.5 update, aka the Assassin's Creed update, was just released not that long ago. But besides the Assassin's Creed crossover, there's actually a lot of other cool stuff released in this update as well. So first, let's talk about the Assassin's Creed crossover. There will be two new single player missions, two new world missions. Season pass holders get Darcy and about her abilities. She has a hidden blade, the iconic assassin weapon, improves melee and perform takedowns from any angle. She has the Eagle Drone, which is a scout drone that can self-destruct and can emit a short range EMP, as well as assassin training, avoid detection for longer while in stealth, and take less weapon damage while sprinting. AR Disguise, assume the look of a soldier with access to restricted locations, also applies to nearby alleys and multiplayer. The Assassin's Gun, a discreet brotherhood pistol that fires a single high damage shot automatically reloads while holstered, and she has the Assassin's Dart Gun, a concealed dart gun that causes human targets to go berserk, automatically reloads while holstered. Honestly, I really did not expect all of those abilities. I think this is really cool, and I can't wait to play more of her. I haven't played too much just yet, as the update just came out not that long ago, but I think I'm going to do a review on the Assassin's Creed crossover part in about a week or a few days, depending on how long it takes me to play it. But next, let's talk about Resistance Mode. Now, we've known about Resistance Mode for a while now, but we just got a ton of new details on the mode. So starting off, almost all enemies are elite and use their special gadget more often. Max ammunition is significantly reduced. Enemies detect you much faster. Albion will detect and recognize DeadSec in the open world if you get too close. Albion checkpoints will detect DeadSec and trigger an Albion pursuit. Albion has trapped some tech points around London. Collecting trap tech points will trigger an Albion pursuit. Tech tree economy is rebalanced with the strongest upgrades costing more tech points. Albion pursuits are more difficult escalate faster and trigger more often. Enemies are far quicker to call reinforcements and escalate to lethal force. Most abilities, hacks, and gadgets have significantly longer cooldowns. Tube station fast travel is disabled. Health regeneration takes longer to kick in. Explosives cannot be armed with the trap hack. Trigger the explode hack or shoot it when an enemy walks by. Injury and arrest times are significantly longer. The infiltrator spider bot cannot execute takedowns. Most civilians start out disliking deadsec. Permadeath mode is always on. And added an achievement for completing the campaign on resistance mode. The next thing we have is invasion. Now, this is exactly what it sounds like from the previous two games. Invaders will attempt to complete the download on search team members. In Watch Dogs Legion, invaders have access to more tools of deception, including the ability to swap to other operatives in the world without being detected. The search team will need to use their whole arsenal of weapons, abilities, and tools in the environment to prevent the download from finishing. There's also another new game mode called Extraction. Watch Dogs Legion's take on Capture the Flag, a four-player free-for-all where you obtain crypto drives and race across the city to upload the data, while other players try to stop you at all costs. And then after that, there are a bunch of general updates, like there's multiple save slots for console. Mina now has a unique loading screen when switching to her. All recruited operatives now appear on the main map with their profile picture, updated operative hover card, portrait name, occupation, current schedule, primary bio info will be displayed when hovering over the operative on the map. Operatives go about their daily schedules, but also may place themselves near missions. Operative swap cutscenes play more often when swapping to an operative from the map. Operatives appear on the map in both classic and resistance single player campaigns. In other things like in Spiderbot Arena, they increased the maximum player limit to 8. A new reward track has been added to online mode with Season 3 of Online. As well as that, they've also added Watch Dogs Legion of the Dead, which is now in the main game. It's not separate from the rest of it. They've added a bunch of new weapons and gadgets and vehicles. And they've also done a ton of bug fixes. So if you want to read the full change log, link will be in the description if you want to go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about Resistance Mode, Darcy, and the Assassin's Creed crossover in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.